the, the tournament brings something uh, very odd to them, you know. It's about meeting different friends, meeting friends, different cultures, you know, playing against uh, other teams that they have never played before. It's also an opportunity for them to come out of their community that they stay in. Because some of the kids haven't even been outside the community, you know. Wow, wow, wow. Although you lost one three, whoa, whoa, whoa. but you were Can you, go on a guy that must be a you know, the time that the kids spend on the training field and the soccer field keeps them actually away from drugs. And that is a huge success when you have all those kids. Uh, the amount that you can that's why you can see the amount of kids that's here. What I'm planning to do is I'm gonna give a life skills session to the the way they use the ball, it's how to carry the ball, that's to carry the message across. If you do a pass, you pass the message over. If you receive the ball, you receive the message from someone. So soccer is a great tool. And if you kick the ball without a di within the direction and it don't go to the person, that means you're going into the wrong directions already in your community. Listen up. The exercise they're going to do for me, I want you to answer what to try and make out what's happening here. As you can see, this is progress. This is the development. This is kids that came from that background. So the, this is the progress that's already happening where the communities come together as one unit. It's all of making the correct life choices. And that is what we're teaching the kids. So the more time we spend with them of delivering this message, the more time we have of engaging them to start of believing that the body is the most important part and you as a person is the most important person in your life.